Hey everyone, so we were able to come back from Disney and we waited about a couple weeks because we came back. No, I think we waited about a week. We waited until after Labor Day and now we were able to get all of our fall decor up. So this is a wreath that I made a year or two ago and all I did with it was use some burlap squares that I had and then I um, pinned and hot glued gun in the flowers and the leaves and the berries on there so it was just a little simple wreath for the front door and then as you walk in it's our main entryway table the vase I think I got from Walmart I think like everything was from Walmart except for the um, candle holder which one of my sconces ended up getting broke in the process of moving it over here and moving a picture frame from over here to a different table so if you have suggestions for places to get, you know, like little sconces to put the candles in, let me know because I want to get them back in there. But with one broke, I took the other two out. But I have the bouquet that I got at Walmart. It was about $5. And then all I did was take my basic vase and fill it up with the um, decoration rocks that you can get from Dollar Tree. And then I think I got the, um, it's not twine, but it's... It's the fall hay stem tying pieces I could have told you before I turned the camera on, but right now I can't. <laughs> so, and then we just leave the pictures of the girls, the older two, and then the youngest on here with it. And it just makes a pretty centerpiece. I can back up a little bit. Just a pretty centerpiece to go under, well, I was going to turn it, but I can't do that while I'm filming, under our um, wall of pictures that we put up when we first moved in. So family is up there, and then Faith and then um, I'll show you the other table here in a minute that also has a family thing on it. But I like the little faith and family sayings on here and I'm wanting to get more of those to kind of incorporate in with the rest of it. But this is our main table right inside the front door. So as you're walking in past that one, which we just did, there's this sewing table over here. Um, this one came from my grandmother. She gave it to us, and um, I like the old uh, pedal sewing machine tables for decoration because it kind of adds the more, um, I don't know, I guess we do more of a country look for our house. We don't like whites as much because we also have three kids. So I like the wooden rough texture look, which is also why we do the loose burlaps as kind of like our placemats for this. So basically the only thing I changed over here was on top of doing pictures of family, um, we added the tea candles over here and then we just took, um, Dollar Tree has bags of just loose leaf, no pun intended, literally loose leaves, fall leaves bags. And then they have two different colors and then I just alternated them out on different sides. This candle, I have two scents right now. Um, it's from a friend of mine and it's just a shout out to her, not a sponsor, but from Southern Porch Scents. I think she is on Etsy. I'm not 100% sure yet. I can check with her. There it goes. So she's with Southern Porch Scents and this is the salted caramel one. And I also have the pumpkin pie one and they smell amazing. They will make the whole room smell like what they are. Um, so there's this table and then across from it is a quilt rack that my grandfather built and I keep a quilt that was given to us by a lady at church for our wedding and I keep it on here and then I also have one that Matt's grandma crocheted under here as well. Um, sometimes in, when it gets rougher weather we'll have people stay over so that they don't have to drive on rough roads or anything like that on the way home so we keep those right here plus it kind of adds like a little you know nice little touch for our fall decor for right now so there's that one and then we'll keep moving on with the tour so the next table over is our electronics unit it has the kids dvds on it um cds and then um crates this one has like headphones in it that one I don't know if it even has anything in it right now we kind of rotate stuff out through the school year this is eventually going to become like a electronics charging station area we just haven't got the cord or the wall protector yet to hide the cords or the TVs mounted and 
haven't quite figured out how to keep you know the power strip over all here so we're still working all that out and fixing a charging station electronic station for schooling but the next one we do have done already is this is my we call it the candle table this is an antique phone table um we do keep one bible in here and there's also i think a second one in here for the kids so it's here too but it's just a cute little antique table we found when we were moving in here and thought it'd be a nice just little centerpiece for the room and all i did here was tied the hay twine pieces onto the candles i switched the candles out for the seasons um, I like using some that do already look used and melted, so I have burned these down a little bit before in here. And then I have the pumpkin and the apple. I swap those out for the, I think in summer I use like the uh, cotton scent or, you know, like the, the summery scents. So the next table over is kind of in this weird corner because right here is the fireplace and then here is the doorway to the kitchen. And in the winter, this is where we put the Christmas tree. But... Um, the rest of the year, we keep this sewing table here. It's an antique sewing table that was one of my grandparents. And, um, like, I keep a basket of crochet magazines to look through and some uh, antique sewing machines and my grandmother's sewing box that I don't touch, but I keep it for memory purposes. And then I think I have... This is one of their pennies that they pressed on the way home from Disney. And then this is the... Uh, leaves that Madeline glued together to make a, a placemat. Just some of the gourds and then a gift thanks sign sitting right there with some little acorns right there. So basically just something kind of simple for fall but I, I kind of sometimes like to kind of just keep some of them simple and just have little elements here and there. So the next one as you can see we've been doing school today so the school crates are out but the next one is our little fireplace.